Hey friends, I'm here with a short video to demonstrate how to log in to EverQuest on multiple accounts at the same time. I've recently been aware that some players will download EverQuest through Steam. And that's where they run into a problem and why they get confused because when I play EverQuest, I always play and log in through the regular EverQuest client that you find on everquest.com. I've never used Steam to log into EverQuest. So I'm not really going to cover how to do it on Steam because I don't think you can do it from the Steam EverQuest client. I think you have to download the regular EverQuest client. And it is very easy to do. You just visit everquest.com and you go up to the top right. You'll see download EverQuest right next to where it says play free and you can download it. Then you install it and it's very easy and simple to use. You just load it up enter your login information and your password and click on play. It may need to download a patch or a couple of additional files. Once that's done, the game should boot up as it always does and you can log in to whatever server you're used to using. And then what you can do is you can go back to the launcher uh, before it closes and you can click on select a different account or log into another account and either create a new account from there or if you already have a second account you can just type in the login information for that second account if the launcher window closes just relaunch the launcher uh, by clicking the icon on your desktop or launching it from the start menu. However you are used to launching the EverQuest client, it's very simple. I usually just put in my second account before the launcher closes because if you do that, the launcher won't close until that second account has loaded. You can log in to three, four, five different EverQuest accounts if you want to, if you have that many, to play multiple accounts at the same time using this method. Again, just use the normal EverQuest client uh, from the EverQuest Daybreak website. It's just everquest.com and you hit enter and it takes you right there. And again, to download it, it's just on the upper right hand side. It's in smaller letters, it's not like big and bold, but it just says download EverQuest. You download it, you install it like any other software, and you could always uninstall the Steam version if it's taking up extra space on your hard drive, and just always launch EverQuest from the regular launcher instead. It's not gonna, like it's, anything's going to change, right? Something that you always want to keep in mind is there are some servers on EverQuest and also on project servers, although project servers would use a completely different client. Uh, but some, some will frown upon multiple accounts at the same time, either on the same computer or even on second computers or whatever. So you want to read the rules of whatever server you're playing on. I play on Throne of Eye where playing multiple characters on the same computer is allowed because if it wasn't allowed it would be a true box server and it would even like prevent you from logging in multiple characters uh, on a single computer some say that it's perfectly fine if you have more than one computer to play a true box server uh, but I don't know for sure what Daybreak's view on that is. I'm guessing it's okay because a lot of people do it. But who am I? I'm just a guy on the internet with a little bit of EverQuest knowledge because I've been playing for years. And why do I play multiple accounts 
I play multiple accounts because I played a single account for many years, but I started running into problems finding groups because some players can become very elitist or, or just a little snobby. I'm not saying all of them. I'm not saying all of them. I met a lot of awesome players, but there have been a few where I encounter them, I try to group with them, and they're like, oh, you have how many hit points? As a paladin, oh yeah, that's not enough. Or, you know, I do group with them because they didn't ask questions first. But then the cleric's like, oh, why do I have to heal you more than once per fight? You know, I'm like, it's a game. You're pressing a button. Why are you acting like it's torture? So they're, they're, they're like, oh, you've been neglecting your AAs or this and that. So they'll talk smack to me because they feel like I don't have enough hit points or something. And I'm like, you know what? I don't need this. I don't need you. I can play multiple accounts and then have my own healer or whatever. And so if you don't like some of the toxic elements of the game, you might choose to play kind of a little more solitary. Lately, I've been grouping a lot more uh, with new friends that I made through the YouTube channel here. And it's been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, my new friends here are, are not quite so snobby. <laughs> uh, but again, uh, this video can help you on how to log in multiple accounts. If you want to see actual gameplay, I have other videos that you could search for on my channel in relation to that, like multi-boxing without third-party software, where all you do is use in-game mechanics like macros and that sort of thing to help you play multiple characters without going insane or having to do nearly as much work. So please check those videos out too. If you like what I do here and you found this video useful and informative, please hit follow and like the video if you found this video was lacking in some way or you really didn't like the video at all you can hit dislike that's a fine option too i would love it if you would leave a comment if you liked or disliked the video and if you didn't like the video instead of saying something ridiculous like this video blows goats uh which is absurd tell me what you did not like about the video what could have been better about the video? How to improve the video? What you would do differently? Something constructive is always appreciated more than just some random trolly nonsense. If you'd like to really support the channel, you can hit join in the join button below and become a YouTube channel member. Membership gives you access to custom emojis and badges, so hopefully that could add a little spice to your engagement to the channel. There's also a Patreon and a Twitter account, and those are linked in the description below this video. And we also have a Discord. Discord membership is only available to members of the YouTube channel or the Patreon. So if you join either the Patreon or the YouTube channel as a member, you will have access to the Discord where we share stories, funny memes, jokes, videos, music, all kinds of stuff. We even chat and schedule our events where we meet up in game and group together and kill stuff and help each other do quests and that sort of thing. So if that interests you, consider becoming a member of the Patreon or the YouTube channel and joining the Discord. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this and found it informative. Have a great day and a wonderful tomorrow.